Hello, Daz patrons. This is Not From This World, and thank you for joining me on my Daz Studio tutorial page. Now, today I thought I would show you something a little bit cool, I think. I have mentioned pinning objects in the past, but I thought I would just show you a couple tricks if you haven't seen this before. Many of you that are Daz Studio veterans are going to be... Um, familiar with this, but if you're pretty new with Daz Studio, this might be something that will become very helpful to you. Now, in today's scene, I have Milica kind of in a sci-fi science laboratory, and what we're going to do is we're going to add some things to her hand. So I want her kind of holding an alien larva, but what we're going to do is we're going to have her holding an alien larva with a pair of clamps. And so what we need to do so that we can set this scene up and then repose it is take the sci-fi creature and the clamps and pin them, or what Daz likes to call parent them, onto our Milica character. So let's get started. All right, now the first thing I'm gonna do is just search my content for some clamps. Now, I just recently found these clamps for a different um, scene that I was creating. So we're going to go and uh, open these clamps up and see if we can add them to our character. Okay, so I have my clamps and Milica is in her um, 000 position. So, you know, every time you load something, it always loads at the 00 coordinate. So I'm going to raise this up and kind of move these clamps. So you can see I have some nice clamps here. I'm gonna pose this so that it's in her hand, and then we're going to parent these clamps onto Milica. Okay, so you can see I have her holding the clamps. I can zoom in here so you can kind of see it better. And we could do a few adjustments, maybe just move the clamps so it just looks more natural in her fingers. I think probably like that. So now, see if I do anything with Milica, like if I wanna take her and raise her arm, of course, if I raise her arm or lower her arm, the um, clamps are not going to move with her. So what we have to do is we have to parent the clamps to her hand. That's really easy to do. Just select the clamp or put your cursor over the clamp and right click and then just go to change clamps parent. Hit that and then what I do is I just scroll up and I find my character which is Milica and we want this in her left hand. So I'm just gonna scroll down until I see her left hand, which is right here. So I can select the left hand and hit accept. Pretty simple. This is a really easy kind of basic Daz Studio thing is being able to parent your objects. But see now that clamp is set on Milica and it's parented to her hand. So if I raise or lower her hand up, then I'm going to move those clamps. Now we want to put a alien larva maybe in the clamps. So I'm just going to search for a, an alien larva. And I've got this kind of worm looking larva here. Let's install that. So now that I have my larva, I'm just going to kind of raise it up. It's huge, of course. So we're going to shrink it down to the size that we like. I don't know. I'm thinking kind of a large kind of weird looking thing. This looks like a beetle larva is what it really is. But if we keep it huge and make it look kind of scary, it'll be more sci-fi like. So I'm going to position this inside the clamp. So I'm going to take a minute and pose it. Okay. Posing that was kind of a pain. It doesn't have like a morph to move all of the segments at once. I had to move everything separately. This is kind of a cool look looking worm, but it's just not quite easy to pose, but I got it done. So now see, I can 
take this larva and now we can parent it to the clamp. So the whole point of doing this was to show you that we can pin any object or parent any object to any other object. So I'm just gonna scroll down to Milika's left hand where the clamps are parented to. And I have to go beyond the hand because the clamps are here at the bottom. I'm just gonna select that clamp and then hit accept. So now the larva is now parented to the clamps, which is now parented to Milika's hand. I can move Milika all over the place and all of these items should now move with her. So see, I can turn her, I could move her across the room. I think one of the things I will do is kind of raise it up like she's looking at the larva, maybe in astonishment. So let's kind of pose her and uh, we'll give her some surprised kind of expression. And now we can run a render, repose, run more renders, change the position of her arms, and everything will be attached. Now I wanna also show you, it's really easy to unparent things. So if we want to like put this larva in a jar, all we have to do is right click and then just go to change larva parent. And then if you drop all the way down on your list here, it'll just say none. And once you select none, now that larva is no longer parented. Just to show you, if I move Milika's arm, see it's not parented anymore. Kind of simple little technique here, but if you aren't aware of this, this comes in super, super handy. Okay, so that'll kind of do it for today. Simple Tuesday video for you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and give me a few comments. I love to hear your suggestions. You know, making videos twice a week can be a challenge just because I want to keep the content relevant and keep videos that are going to be useful to you. But, you know, sometimes I need some suggestions for material. So I want to thank all of you for giving me suggestions. And if you've given me a suggestion that I haven't talked about yet, I will try and get to that in the future. But um, keep sending me those ideas and I will keep making videos. All right. Until next time, have a wonderful week and happy rendering.